Hey there, YouTube. All right, so today I kind of yelled at you guys. Hi, YouTube. No, just kidding. Okay, so today is like super gloomy. It's been raining all freaking day. I made the mistake of wearing suede boots. Yeah, not cool. Um, but it's all good. Um, I did this look for you guys today, and it's basically like a Valentine's Day look since Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, I probably won't get a Valentine's Day tutorial out to you guys on February, or in February, so that's why I did it right now, um, since I have time off work, and I decided I'd mess around with some colors. Hopefully this is a little bit something different for you guys. I did pinks and reds and stuff, so no, well, okay, I used a little bit of brown, but I mean, like, you know, not a whole bunch of neutrals like I'm always doing. Um, excuse my hair, like I said, it's been raining all day, it's really gross and gloomy. I hate rain with a passion, like, seriously, I hate it. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys... Enjoy this look, and um, if you want to learn how to get it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I've already applied my um, eyeshadow primer, and I did NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. So what I'm going to be using is um, a part of my 120 palette. I'm sure you guys have already seen this. And I'm going to be using, I'm going to show you guys the colors first to make it a lot easier, so that way I can just go straight into them. I'm going to be using this bottom white all the way down here. Okay. And I'm going to be using, sorry, this is really dirty, um, this light pink. So you guys see that? Right there. And I'm going to be using this really bright pink. I know it doesn't look that bright in my um, camera here, but it will. Like, I'll take pictures of the ones that I use, so it'll, be make, bleh, it'll make it easier for you guys. I'm going to be using this really bright red, and then this really pretty rusty maroon color. And then, um, from my Urban Decay palette, I'm just going to be using Polyester Bride right there. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just taking a little brush and going into that white. I'm just going to apply that to my inner corner. Just trying to make it really defined in the inner corner. And just kind of drag that underneath your eye also. I'm going to be taking a little bit of a bigger brush just to kind of get better coverage. And I'm going to take that up into my eyelid. We're kind of about going in halfway, I guess. Then I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to take that really hot pink that I showed you guys earlier. It doesn't look that hot, but it is. And I'm going to just apply that to the other half of my eye. So, yeah, this will be a really pretty look for um, Valentine's Day if you guys are into that whole little theme. I'm taking that light pink now. I just switched the sides of my brush. See, there's hot pink, there's light pink. I'm going to just apply that right over that, mixing it into the white and into the pink. But anyways, as I was saying, if you guys are really into that whole, you know, pink and red themed holiday kind of thing this would be a really pretty look for you okay then you're going to want to take something like a small crease brush and you're going to want to go into that really nice bright red and you're going to take this and put this right into your outer corner you don't have to do it really v-shaped if you don't want to but i'm not really i don't really do it very v-shaped just like that I forgot to show you guys Just one other color. Like that. Um, this color right here, which is, oh no, wait. This color, sorry, the fourth one. Um, is a really, really light brown. Something close to your eyelid color. So that way it'll help for easy blending. Because you're going to blend out that red with that brown. So like I said, take that brown and it's just a really, really light color. It's about the color of my eyelid, so... See how it just like blends everything kind of nice and evenly. Looks really pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and just kind of touch up that red just a bit. And it just takes a lot of blending, so. Now I'm going to take that like rustic colored red. And then I'm just going to take that and apply that on top of our crease like this and you want to blend this in I 
Okay, and then I'm going to take the Polyester Bride, which is a white. You can use any white highlight that you want. You can even use the white that you had originally put on your eye. And I'm just going to put that on as our highlight. The only reason I'm using this one is because it has a lot of shimmer and it just, I think it looks really pretty, so. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then you want to go ahead and kind of blend that red again. Again, we're going to take that same rustic red and we're going to just go ahead and kind of, okay, what, what I did here was I just kind of drew it towards my nose. I just like, whoop, see that? So we're going to do that same thing. Like that. So just draw it in towards your nose. Okay, and then what I did was I'm just going through to blend. Through to blend. Then I just kind of go in and touch up some things like the white. And then if you wanted to put a little bit more pink in there, you can put a little bit more pink. And now what I'm going to do is um, apply my eyeliner, apply mascara, and show you guys the finished look. Um, with the eyeliner, I did it pretty dramatic this time. I kind of did a lot more upper liner than I normally do. See that? Do you guys see it? Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look. Okay, so this is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, all I did was apply a nude lip. I did originally have a red lip, and it was way too much red. I was like, no, definitely not. So um, I used, from NYX, I used Frosted Flakes lipstick, and from Urban Decay, I used Carney lip gloss. So that's what gave me this lip. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that it gave you guys a little bit of an idea of what you could do for Valentine's Day if you're into that whole pinky red kind of theme. Um, well, I guess that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a nice day. Bye, YouTube.